Hello, I'm Nick, and I'm going to show off my advanced graphics programming project for UWS. For this project, I decided to tackle the fur shading because it was a computer graphics effect that I could not figure out how it was done. After some research though, I can now present my fur shader completed in C++ OpenGL. A fur shader can be done in several different ways, such as using particles where you string a line between each particle. This is mostly used for high quality 3D renders as it gives the best results. Then there is textured fur, where you stack a texture a few times and increase its transparency the further you go, a technique used in the 2005 smash hit Shadow of the Colossus. However, I took up a more modern games approach called Shell and Fin, just without the fin. This effect is done by stacking a transparent image with randomly scattered dots called a fur map upon itself a dozen times, usually between 30 to 60 times. This can actually be seen when you get closer to the object. By using the arrow keys, you can control the amount of layers and the length of the fur. The more layers, the more defined the fur looks, but takes longer to process, and increasing the length of the fur makes it look a bit unrealistic. To increase the sense of realism, I added some artificial gravity to the y-axis, which bends the fur at its tips. This is then followed up by a simple yet cheaty way to make the fur move gently to give it a soft flow to simulate the air moving it. Last but not least, I textured the fur by replacing the color values of the fur map with a texture. To demonstrate this fully, I implemented a variance of four different fur patterns, a tiger, a leopard, a cow, and a giraffe. Despite all these features, there are still many bits and pieces you can implement to improve the fur shader, such as adding fins to dampen the outline, using multiple fur maps to make the length of each strand random, which also prevents bald spots, or simply adding lighting to the fur. The fur shader can be used on any object, as long as it has texture coordinates like this cube. However, more complex, non-flat objects suit it more. And that's really about it. Thank you for watching.